Hello everyone, Sterling White here, your favorite investor. I'm gonna go over five lessons that I learned on this 80 unit acquisition apartment complex that you see behind me. The first one is knowing the market. So this has been uh, expanding to the Louisville market is my first experience uh, expanding to another uh, city and understanding outside of one in Dayton, but this was the first one for an apartment, uh, pur apartment purchase. So what was able to leverage was actually uh, stayed in a couple Airbnbs to really understand the market and also the locals. So we would use, I personally stayed in Airbnbs that were in this neighborhood to really get a feel for the types of uh, tenants that would be renting from our property and also coordinating with local property management companies. And then the second big learning lesson was coordinating once we identified this property with those property managers to get a better feel for, okay, this is where the rents are. Uh, what can we push these up to? And what type of renovations do we need to do in order to get that? So once we identified this specific asset was one that we wanted to move forward with purchasing and we were right before we were about to go under contract, we got insight from the property manager uh, who has extensive experience managing other uh, properties and similar, uh, similar type assets. And then from there, we were able to reverse engineer and say that, okay, these are the rents that we're going for. This is an estimation of the types of renovations that we'll need to put into it. And then from there, we were able to back into our purchase price. So that was crucial with getting in touch with our uh, property management company as quickly as possible to help in the due diligence. But the third thing was we, we were going to third, we did third party management uh, this property and it didn't work out. So, we just, so that was another lesson is self-management is the way to go for us. And luckily this is an 80 unit apartment. So you get the economies of scale being able to have two people on site. So let's point out just their quality of work was not up to standards for us and also their uh, lack of uh, getting the work done. So it took an extensive amount of time for them to get completed on certain things. And it was lack of transparency was another thing too. So we decided to part ways and bring it in house. So I'll just point out just little things, just attention to detail. It's like the drawer here is just not, pro I mean, just little things like that. And there's a, a little bit of sloping here that they could have uh, addressed painting over there and then the floors you're not able to, to fill it but there's some softening so definitely we're going to have to go behind them on the quite on quite a bit of things uh, to uh, fix the to fix what they weren't able to get to and then the the final two things were direct to owner is our go-to so that was a huge learning lesson that that is the the way to go for us because right now trying to find properties that are actually listed through a broker or maybe a realtor is just too competitive so we go direct and that way we control our own destiny and then the last lesson was persistence so it took six touches just to get in touch with the actual decision maker of this property and then it took multiple follow-ups so the first time we got in touch, was not interested whatsoever. It took multiple follow-ups in months to convert them to being not interested to now being interested. So those are the biggest lessons that I hope that you can take away uh, from some failures and some successes that I've experienced with this property. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much.